25 foot Baja high performance boat it's a H2X and we have the passenger seat which swivels of course it goes forwards and backwards and we have a snap out carpet so it has a fiberglass floor with a snap out carpet you could use it or not use it uh, here's the control of the console here you can see we have 200.7 hours on it as of right now this is a Lake Michigan boat this is from the Great Lakes it's a 2001 Baja um, high performance series 454 mag which I'll show you the engine soon um, we have trim tabs trim setup shows you where your tab levels are right and left side um, here's the trims the stabilizers this is your control for your trims we have a depth finder which is factory also we have switches here which control various things as far as your radio your you know your lights your hatch and we'll simulate the hatch going up and down um, your controls you have the speed here you have your um, power trim your tilt up and down for your main motor when you're done and if you want to raise it fast and of course your shifter we have a 12 volt outlet here DC outlet and this is a C fire automatic fire extinguisher indicator it has a halon system built in for the motor um, in case it overheats or whatever and then of course we have a blower switch always operate that before you fire your motor up we have your kill switch button here for safety reasons your lanyard and of course your on and off switch over here we have the stereo system and a glove box pretty roomy good for CDs a couple tools here's a step to get up onto the bell so you'll step from the seat onto here right onto the bell which has a hatch and it's pretty roomy for laying down sunning on or just uh, taking in a breeze so this is a windshield the wind guard basically knocks a lot of the wind down and you're revving it up to 80 90 mile per hour whatever it may do in your hands um, down below we have the cabin it's a sleeper cab plenty of room and there's storage underneath the the pillows which you can store you know, life jackets and necessities um, there are LED lights inside two up front two on the back and to the right there is a um, your fuse box which you know, contains all the house fusing um, yeah so it's pretty pretty simple pretty simplex but yet plenty of room to um, you know kick back and lay down we spent nights on this so um, it's plenty of fun for the, for the family so um, also right here in the floor we have a area where we keep a cooler I don't have the cooler in here now it's in the garage but the hatch lifts up the cooler sits down in that container that base the holder and it's uh, you know it's tucked away out of everyone's way which is nice um, these doors slide for your cabin and there's a lock on them so there's a locking door locking cabin um, you you can um, lock it when you're not around put whatever you want into it also it can be unlocked from the inside as you're sleeping and lock it and over this way we have some holding handles of course passengers to hold on which is nice here we have the the hatch driven by two pistons and I'll operate that by closing it but before I close it let's go over the motor basically it's a Mercury Merc Cruiser as you can see it's a 454 Magnum MPI which is uh, high performance and as you can see it has 200 hours only 200 hours on it and we have a dual battery system and also I do stores back here we have lighting back here also one on each side and also we have lighting inside the cabin here at the cab park where we're sitting which light up um, anyway we have the halon system in the back you can see the suppressant fire suppressant system mounted in the back and that's uh, fully charged ready to go and then just have their other components now this motor here is equipped with captain's choice they call it captain's choice now the switch up front in the driver's section you switch that switch if you want it to go quiet but if you want the noise and the you know open headers click the switch and 
it'll automatically open up for you. Just two solenoids on each exhaust manifolds. Um, also, as we lift this up, there's hinges on it, so it's like a hinged seat. We have a selector here for the battery system. So you have it once you get run with one battery or select it to all batteries or number two batteries. So you have one, two, and all. So right now we're just running off of one, but at times to recharge your battery is good to run on both. Um, it's been kept really well. Again, it's a freshwater boat from Lake Michigan. It was only ran in freshwater here um, in Delaware in the rivers. So I'm going to simulate. I'm going to operate this hatch, show you how it goes down with the pistons. It's a push of a button. There's no labor involved in this. Makes it very nice. And as it comes down, you can see this is the lounge area also up on top. You have your seating plus your lounge sunning lounge so laying here you can get sun you can just you know have a drink watch the sunset and there's a swim platform off the back with a ladder and you can just access the water very easily which makes it very convenient yep so panning back to this way we have cup holders which are located in each side of the vessel along with there's a lighting system here. Let's see if I can simulate the lighting. There's a captain's choice. Court lighting. That's the court lighting. So it's lit up on each side. At night, it's very luminous and really nice. Of course, there's uh, your tail light, which pops in, which is underneath the hatch. You just pop it in that opening there. That's your green light in the back, and then we have lights up front, red and green, for directional purposes. Um, everything's operational. Everything runs well, very well, and it's you know, very upkept. Here uh, is the outside of the boat, of course. Um, fiberglass hull, of course, and here we have some click-out cleats. So basically, they're spring-loaded cleats, so that way it's aerodynamic. When they're not in use, push them back in. There's a gas fill. Typical wrench goes on that to unlock it. Gas wrench. And then of course your gas vent. Just typical. And then we have um, snaps all the way around because we have a bimini top that goes on top of this. It's just a cover to keep everything out, which is over here, but it's a red top. And uh, I have it just sitting there for now. Um, these are just air vents to get air in and out. Keep the air circulating for the motor. Um, here are the trim tabs. We have trim tabs on both sides and uh, they're controlled from up front and again you, I showed you the gauge up there that tells you how high they are up or down. Or Here's the exhaust stainless steel coming out. Uh, three inch exhaust on both sides um, and again they have the captain's choice. Either you could go all the way out loud or you know open headers or you could close it off and quietly come back into dock. Here we have a, a quencher, more or less, it's a, it's a quencher for the head of your outdrive, and it just basically picks up water just by the motion of the, of the boat and sends it over top of this head and splashes it, keeps it cool. Uh, this is a Merc, Merc Cruiser outdrive, it's a Bravo 1 outdrive, uh, which are pretty nice because your water pumps on the inside of the boat instead of being on the outside. So that's a big plus. Um, here you have this paint scheme, which is you know, one of a kind paint scheme. There's only a few boats that had this scheme on it, but it, it's kind of like a water with bubble scheme, I call it. And here we have a factory. This is this is a factory um, sticker came up on it. Everything else is painted. This is painted on. It's not sticker, but this is sticker. It's a factory APBA, which is offshore racing. And it's a V-bottom boat for the uh, for the ocean. So handles real well and rough waves, the ocean. Um, yeah, so basically you can see the length of it and the top bow very lengthy which is gives you all that room in the cabin also. 
was able to cut waves by the length of that. This is the other side of the boat. And of course the trailer is a matching trailer, matches the boat somewhat. Um, the trailer I need to wax, I need to wax the boat even, but for now I cleaned it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, basically that's a Baja.